Hi, this is Bruce Eakins from Checkpoint Technologies. Checkpoint Technologies is an HP software specialist partner specializing in software quality assurance, software testing, application security testing, and infrastructure solutions. We offer unparalleled services in infrastructure solutions, software testing, consulting, training, and customized mentoring. I'm going to talk to you today about HP SiteScope, a comprehensive monitoring solution. SiteScope allows somebody to monitor website or infrastructure for good, bad, up, down conditions. SiteScope allows you to monitor infrastructure as well as software, as well as URLs and websites. Today we're going to talk about a solution to monitoring a website that's used to indicate the condition of a piece of infrastructure. A site scope monitor and alert definition includes the following. What monitor you want to trigger, what conditions to watch for, what information to send, and who should receive the alert. Our use case we're going to talk about today is about a customer who monitors a piece of infrastructure using a URL on a website. That URL is going to show one of the following. It's going to show the word good or it's going to show the word error and have some error text after it. Now if the word error shows up, the contents of that website needs to be sent to a pager and an email address. So the solution to this use case is to use the SiteScope URL content monitor. We're going to use two fields on that monitor and those are going to be the fields match content and match content for error. Now, as you see on the slide, the first field is going to be configured to look for the word good. You recall in the use case that good indicated that there is no problem with the infrastructure. So we use a regular expression containing the word good, and then we put the modifier C after it. That indicates that an alert will be sent only if the word good is not found. In the second field, match content for error, we put a regular expression that indicates that the content of the URL should be sent as the alert and the content after the word error should be sent. The reason for this is that a pager and an email on a smartphone have a very small screen size and the normal alert without this filter would send all of the header information from the URL which we do not want. At the end of that we're going to go ahead and configure the alerts to send to an email address and to a pager normally. Here you can see the screen where you configure these two fields for the URL content monitor. There's another screen which you don't see which actually shows how to configure the alerts themselves but that's very straightforward just involves putting in an email address and a pager number. So in conclusion you can configure SiteScope to look for specific error codes but in the case today we're just going to have them look for a general error code or a general error condition and send just the contents of the URL to a pager or an email. If you have any questions about SiteScope or any of the other testing or quality products that Checkpoint Technologies offers, please give us a call at area code 813-818-8324. Thanks.